can only do this from the very beginning. Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back. Today we have the newest updated Dyson Airwrap. You might be thinking, why? Why is there a new one when the other one was so good, right? Well, they updated some features. The biggest update that they did for their air wrap is for the barrels. You don't have to change them from left to right. Good job, Dyson. We were saying that from the very beginning with the original. So we're gonna do half of the head with the original and the other half with the new one. I purchased the multi-styler complete long for $5.99. 99 so I think it's $50 more it was 549 I believe the original one right here the complete one and then this right here is the new one let's open this up that's what it looks like it's nice and heavy I just drank some coffee so if I seem wired that is why I'm just excited for this also <laughs> did they actually improve it or is it you know, glitchy. or is it glitchy? Is it just, you know, a waste of money? Ooh, I will say right away, like the inside of the other one better because you actually had compartments for all of your different attachments and I'll show you. Let me show you Ooh, the OG. These are the extras that I purchased. So this is what it looks like. So you see how it has all the little compartments for all of your tools, I mean, all of your attachments. That way you can carry it really nicely or just store uh, it nicely. That, that one have the for the blower. Oh no, they got rid of the blower. This right here is the round brush. Looks exactly the same. Are they interchangeable from tool to tool? Yes, that's a good thing. You can use all of your attachments from your original to the new one, which is really great and, and vice versa. So like I said, I purchased the long version, which means they're just long. This right here is the original size, which you can still purchase the original size, but you get the long. There's still 1.2 inches and I think 1.6 for the thickness, which is nice. Okay, so these are definitely different. And at the very top, like I was saying, all you do is just move this to the right or to the left to change the direction of the flow. Why couldn't they do this from the very beginning? But they even changed the barrel, as you can see. Probably just because of direction. And then this right here is the new attachment that they introduced with this new Dyson Airwrap. The flyaway smoothing attachment. It's specifically for the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer. So they came out with this one for the Dyson Airwrap. And this is the new attachment that you can use for both. And again, same thing. You can actually change the direction. That's the blow dryer. And then you do this, and then that's going to smooth all of your flyaways, whatever it, whatever you want to smooth out. So is the, is the first one, is it cheaper now, or is it still the same amount of money? The first one is not available anymore. Oh, it's gone? They got rid of the original one. So here we have the firming brush. They actually changed the shape. This is the new one, the more square, the more rectangular one, and this right here is the older one. And these new ones, they actually have a little bit more of a, they feel more solid. They don't feel as cheap as the original ones, even though the original one feels still good. But yeah, interesting. The original one has an extra one in the center that doesn't move, only the sides move, versus the new one, all of them move, see? So they changed it a little bit. Just trying to see all the little differences right in front of me. And then we have the smoothing brush, which is one of my favorites to use for my hair type to blow dry it. So here we have the new one versus the original. And again, they changed the shape, which I actually like. It's a little bit more modern, a little bit more sophisticated looking. And then everything else is the exact same. You have the filter right here. You have the on off, you have the cool shot, you have the airflow, and then the heat setting right here. So everything is the exact same. Is it more powerful? What they did was they updated, they re-engineered <laughs> attachments with enhanced Kawanda airflow. Maybe so it, should, it should wrap around even quicker. And yes, better. and maybe even better. Yeah, so let's put these in, let's turn them on. Okay, my hair is still a good, I would say, maybe like 50% wet, maybe a little bit more. Not wet, damp. And I am going to dry my roots as much as I can, and then we'll come back and we will style our hair. My hair, our hair, as if my hair is your hair. Why not, right? We will style my hair using the 1.2 inch barrels. When I style my hair using the barrel, I like to make sure my roots are completely 
dry 100%. And then if I need to, I will wet the ends using um, like a little spray bottle. This is one of my favorites. I love the continuous spray bottle. I already have my hair products in my hair. I'm using my Tangle Teaser Hair Detangler brush. And again, we're gonna do half and half. Well, left, we'll do the new. Right, we'll do the original, the OG. Okay, let's go with the new one. We're gonna use the new head. And I will say, this actually feels really solid. I did wanna mention one little thing about the original one. My sister has this original as well, and she was saying this right here, any kind of attachment that you put in, it's very wobbly for her, it doesn't feel solid. And my my sister's sister-in-law said the same thing. So Jackie said that hers feels very solid and secure, and mine feels very solid and secure, and I've had this how many years already? Several years, ever since it came out. So I did wanna mention that quickly, and I was checking this right here, and I will say this one actually feels a little bit more solid and more secure than the original one. So I opened it up to make sure to use this as a blow dryer. I'm gonna do on the highest second airflow with highest heat. Do the highest airflow. Very, very powerful. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> half and half, Moana. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And let's go with the original one. We'll do the second airflow as well, but the highest heat. Huh? Yeah, it's the second one. That one has a little more airflow. Whoa. Oh yeah, this one is more air coming out. <laughs> Whee! For the sake of science. Feels good. See, this is just solid. This is like, has a barely any movement. This has a little bit of a little bit of movement up and down. Yeah, so much more power out of here. So much more power in the new one. It's noticeable, very noticeable in my opinion. Okay, feeling pretty good. The roots feel pretty dry. The ends have a little bit of damp dampness. I can still feel it, but they are a little bit too dry for what I'm, I'm going to style. So I, I am gonna use this a little bit. I wanna run the smoothing flyaway portion of this and see what that's going to look like. have the option right away on the same attachment and then you just do the same thing on the other side without moving it around it just you have both on both sides on right right and left <laughs> let's do it split it down the middle and we're going to just the ends very lightly damp on so the highest airflow the highest heat let's wrap it around Okay, so I did 15 with the heat and 15 with the cool shot without the Mississippi. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my little clip.
I might need to hold these ones a little bit longer just because they're shorter so the hair is gonna overlap a lot more than the longer ones. The what? I mean, it's working good. It's just, you see how much more hair wraps around this one? So you do have to hold it a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm gonna let this set. This would be the perfect time to do your makeup or whatever else. I'm actually gonna feed Elodie. Alrighty, let's take all of these out. Okay, so I did 15 seconds on the very lowest part. I should have did on the lower heat setting, but just kept it in longer, especially around the ears. And then I did 20 on the rest of them with the new side. And then on the original Dyson side, just because the barrel is shorter, so more hair wraps around itself. So we did, what was it, 20 and then 25? 25 seconds. And we also, for the cool shot, did the same amount as the heat shot. So this side is gonna be a little bit more elongated, just because the barrel is longer. Sure you got everything, I think so. <laughs> I look like I'm going back to the 1800s. And I personally recommend to do, like have some kind of hair clips around you when you're using the Dyson this way, like the, the curl attachment, just because it helps you also make sure you're not missing any other hair. And these little hair clips, the creaseless hair clips, I get them on Amazon. What side looks better? I'm gonna take a wide tooth comb and just gently brush out the curls to make it a little bit more uniform looking. All right, so this is what we're looking like. You can see there's a little bit more bend happening on the shorter side just because I'm wrapping it a lot more and a little bit more consistent versus the longer barrel. You're getting a little bit more, like a little bit less bend, but a little bit, I feel like more volume towards the bottom. But I will say the biggest, the best <laughs> update is the feature that you don't have to have a separate barrel going the opposite direction, right or left. You just have it right here at your fingertips. You just switch it and it changes for you, which is honestly the best feature. And I'm so happy that they updated this. Another good part is if you do have the original, you can just purchase these separately. I'm, I don't know when they're gonna be available, but the best part is you can buy these individually for your original one, which is really awesome. Okay, overall, <laughs> I think if you already have the original Dyson, just pick up the attachments that you know you want or that are missing from your life. And I think honestly, this one is definitely better than the original one, just because you have that option to get the smoothing or the flyaway effect, which is phenomenal. It just makes your hairstyles look really good. But, oh man, this new one, it's $50 more. I do think the packaging, all of the attachments, all like everything together, it does feel a little more sturdy. It feels a little bit more put together. Is that what I'm thinking of? It just feels more sturdy. It feels more solid. It feels, a little more rugged, which is good because especially these kind of hair tools, if you use them all the time, which in my case, I use them all the time. I want that sturdiness knowing that it's not going to fall apart on me. I will say it does feel more powerful and it does feel like the Kwanda effect has a little bit more give to it. It kind of holds your hair a little bit stronger than the original one and the airflow is a little bit stronger on, diff on the same settings. It does feel a little hotter as well, maybe because the airflow, because it's a little bit stronger. So I find that you might not have to use this as, or hold it on your hair as much as, or as long as the original one. Is this better? I do like the new 
wear attachments. I do like that they're kind of thinking this through. I am gonna try the smoothing brush and then the other firm or I always forget the name of this brush right here to see what the difference is and I will try it um, maybe in a vlog or I'll just update you guys like I said in a different video with the different brushes because I do use the brushes more than the barrels but today I just really really wanted to see how the the barrels work and I'm really excited that they did update this <laughs> to what we all wanted from the very beginning. This was the biggest thing in my in my opinion. I even said it when we were playing with them in Los Angeles and I think I mentioned it in the video a couple of times also like why why is there a left and a right? Just make it one and just have a little thing to change the direction. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.